Hey guys, so I'm back doing another video again. Hopefully this one's not 20 minutes long, but you know how I am, so anyways, let's just hope it's not. Um so I made an actual ca I made an actual camera video, like with my camera, and um it's it's a secret video. You know how those people how some people do those videos with the cards. Well, I just did a secret video just telling guys what my secrets are or my flaws. It's both. Um, but what gets me kind of angry is that my memory card had 33 minutes on it and it just stopped at um, 19 minutes and 59 seconds. So 20 minutes basically. Um, and that bothers me because I wasn't, I was almost done with the video. And that means I didn't have to edit, you know, so now if I, I mean, the video is basically done, but, you know, like, really, ugh, anyways, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to post it, because I did start to cry in it, and, um, and I did say some, I did tell you guys, like, my flaws, like, you know, one of my biggest flaws, like, this probably have no idea about. And it's something, I don't know, I don't know if I did the video good enough to be confident enough in posting it. Because it, with me, it's like, if I do, if I, A, the video, you know, like, doing the video, giving the video, like, an A+, plus, you know, like, I don't know, like, saying everything, like, in a unconfusing way, and just, you know, being having the video be clean, like in not all messy and rambling. I think I did okay, but it's it's a serious video, and I did get a little bit sidetracked on some areas. And it's a long video, and I don't think within 20 minutes I got it across like everything I wanted to tell. I don't think I don't know, and I did get emotional in it, but that I mean I. You know, I now I understand why people do the cards, you know, like when they when they are telling, you know, their secrets and, you know, things that have happened to them in life. It's upsetting. And I didn't think it would get to me, I guess, you know, but it's weird. Like every time I talk about the things that happened to me as a child, I, I always cry. Like I try to tell you guys I try to make a I try to make a video um last year, like in May or April it's coffee but I got too emotional in, in the video and I don't really like it when I get emotional I mean I, especially in the video I just don't like how I look when I cry I don't know it's just you know like I just want to say it and go to the next subject so yeah I'm debating it um not sure if I I don't know I'm probably gonna redo the video so if I do post anything like that, I'm probably going to have to redo it, which sucks, because, like, ugh, it sucks that I made this video, because I got all emotional, and I started crying, and that kind of put me in a, kind of a sad mood, and I wasn't even sure if I was going to even make a webcam video today, because it put me in a, in a funk, you know, like, I was thinking about the things I was talking about in my video, and it, upset at me, and, ugh, I don't know, anyways, and I don't, I don't know, I just don't like it when I cry in general, I don't like the way it makes me feel, like, I don't know, I don't know how to explain that, but, yeah. anyways, you guys, I'm rambling too much, um, I did want to make a video, like I told you yesterday, um, I wanted to make another video, I feel like I'm getting sick, I feel like my throat's gonna hurt, I really hope it don't, because, my daughter has her little party tomorrow at her school, and it's already late here. I need to go to bed. Um, yeah, she has, sorry, my mouth got really dry for out of nowhere. She has her um, little party, and we actually got her cupcake cake. It's like her, it's a cake, but it's cupcakes. And it's super cute. It's Little Mermaid, and it says, Happy 8th Birthday, Cheyenne. It's really cute. I need to, I'm going to definitely take a video of it with my camera and take some pictures of it because it's too cute. It is in a humongous, humongous box though. So it won't even fit in our fridge. So right now, 
we have it out in the garage on top of our washer because it's so cold outside that um, we need to put it somewhere because the box is too big. It's humongous. But the cupcakes are not that. I mean, it's a pretty good size cake, cupcake cake, but it's not as nearly as big as the box. It could definitely gave us a smaller box. Um, so yeah, that's at 3 o'clock tomorrow. And um, when my my mom was watching the kids, you know, when I had my MRI done, and my daughter invited her to go to her school, so that kind of sucks. Ah, uh, it's just, my mom's going to take away the fun. You know, she's going to try to pass out the cupcakes, and she's going to try to be my daughter's mom or something over there. And she's, like, already saying she wants to bring stuff. You know, like, she, I'm already bringing 30 cupcakes. There's... I guess 23, 26 kids in my daughter's class, so I paid more money for them to make more cupcakes for everyone I'd have one, even the teacher and the teacher's helper. So I bought 30 cupcakes, I ordered 30 of them, and it's, it's ordered too, it's not just, you know, what the store had, it's actually uh, made for Cheyenne, so that's cool, um, but I just, I'm going to need someone to help me carry that box, um, definitely up to my daughter's class because um, I, I don't I can't do that with Savannah with my son I cannot and it's raining it's freaking raining too oh it's gonna be a day but um so now I'm kind of in a pickle with my mom I'm not sure Ugh, I don't know I'm gonna let her go um I don't think I ever vlogged about this but um about a month ago yeah it was the week it was the Thursday or Friday before school let out for Christmas vacation or holiday break. My mom, I got a phone call from my daughter's school, and they told me that my, um, that somebody claiming to be my daughter's grandma called them and wanted to come and bring cupcakes to her class and try to get personal information about my daughter. That was my mom, so I confronted my mom. And she acted like it was nothing, you know, like it was nothing, and yelled at me because I didn't let her, that I did not allow the school to let her go behind my back, basically, into her classroom. I don't even know how she could yell at me when she went behind my back and tried to get the school to let her in, because I'm smart, and I don't, I didn't put my mom down as emergency contact, because see, this is how my family is, they're sneaky little assholes. And I'm sorry, that's how they are. Ugh. You probably, you guys will totally understand what I'm talking about when I, whenever I make my secret video. They're messed up people. They'll do anything to piss me off. Anything, anything at all. It's my mom. Yeah, I love her. I don't know why. I, I love her. She does not treat me good, okay? Like, she does not treat me good. Like, she only does, if she's nice to me, it's only because she wants to see my kids. Which, she treated me so badly as a child, I don't even know why she even cares about my kids. It's kind of a hypocritical thing, if you think about it. And it's kind of messed up, too. Um, but she'll do anything to backstab me, anything to piss me off, anything to hurt me, anything at all. And now, when you try to go to my kid's school, you're bringing my daughter in this, and that's not cool. She's trying to backstab me using my daughter, my kid. She knew... I what she knows me enough to know that I'm not gonna that's not gonna that's that's not gonna fly with me, you know. You going behind my back, going to my daughter's classroom, that's messed up. Like my daughter even said, that would have put her in a really awkward position because she knew my mom wasn't allowed to go, you know, like to be there. Because she did not have permission. If my mom my mom's excuse to this whole thing is that if I would have asked, you wouldn't have let me. That means you're not allowed. If you know I'm not going to let you, you should not even try to go behind my back and do it. Okay, there's a reason why I don't want you to go. There's a really good reason because my mom is, I know it's going to, I'm just going to put it out there, she's racist, okay? My mom is a racist. She told me not to date black guys, any any guy besides a white guy, and that's a hypocritical thing because my sister is with a Mexican guy, but that's all gravy. But I, I was not allowed. See, my daughter has whole bunch of different friends that are of different races. My daughter has a crush on a boy. Um, I haven't met him yet, but um, she's 
says, you know, he's a white boy, but his dad is um, black. He's a black man. Because, um, I guess, the boy showed her, um, showed the classroom a picture of his father. And I guess he's black. I don't know if it's his stepdad or his real dad. Um, but my daughter has a major crush, a major crush on this boy. Now, if my mom knew that, if I, okay, if, when I was a child, I had a crush on a, a mixed boy, too. Even, a, you know, not mixed, just a black boy. You know, I fall in love with the personality. I don't go by color. So, yeah, um, I wasn't allowed. She beat the shit out of me when I told her that I had a crush on a, a mixed boy from down the street. I was beating the crap out of for that. She told me if I ever have kids and if they're ever a mixed race, they're nothing to her. They're nothing at all and that she does not want to go near me or my mixed kids. She said lots of worse things, which I'm not even going to repeat, but it's messed up. My daughter has a whole bunch of friends, and a couple of those are, I know she has a couple black friends. I know she has a couple of Asian friends. I mean, my daughter has, you know, white friends too, but she has a whole bunch, you know? And I'm not the type of parent to tell my daughter not to be friends with a girl because she's black or Asian or Mexican or whatever. I'm not. That That's ignorance. I'm not going to tell my daughter to do that. I was brought up like that, and I was not allowed to have certain friends, and what's messed up is that, I think most of you guys know, I wasn't, I didn't know my father too well. Well, I don't know what it was, but around the time I was like 11 years old, my mom got in contact with my dad, and he was like a stranger to me, not scared, and I was friends with a black girl at my school, but my mom wasn't very happy about it, and I couldn't invite her over or whatever. Well... Um, my mom told me I had to go and spend the night with my dad, and she told me that my, my friend that was black um, could go, and making it a joke that a black girl was going to my dad's house. Degrading. That was really degrading. She just used my friend, and that was really messed up, because after that all happened, I wasn't allowed to see my friend no more. Messed up crap, man. So yeah, I was brought up, uh, my mom brought me up trying to make me a racist. It didn't happen, okay? It that's ignorance and this messed up shit. It, it really is. Um, anyways, I'm, I'm, I know my, my mom is going to be, uh, unless she's two-faced, um, unless she's different than my kids, but, um, she will be very racist to my daughter and I don't want her to cause a scene at my daughter's school and get my daughter in trouble, you know, or, or yell at a little girl for being my daughter's friend because she's black or whatever. I don't, I don't need that crap. My mom is super ghetto like that, like, you guys have no idea what I come from, I mean, so, yeah, um, yeah, I, I heard my daughter, I don't know, a while ago, tell her mom that, talking about one of her friends, and, one of her friends, Nevea, and, um, Nevea's black, and mom was like, oh, you know, I asked her questions about her friend, and, uh, my daughter was saying that she wants to do her hair like Nevea, um, and little beads, uh, little bead hair clips or bands, whatever they are. And I was like, oh, only the black girls wear those. And my daughter's like, yeah, and it is black. And she's like, what? And yeah, my mom got all mad and crap. And said, you're not going to wear hair like that. I'm like, yeah, she can wear her hair however she wants to wear her hair. You know, you're not going to sit there and tell my daughter who to be or how to be or nothing like that. You're not going to do that. I don't like that crap. I don't like it when mom tries to do that crap. Anyways. I didn't let my mom go to my daughter's school, um, well, obviously she went behind my back and tried to do that, and she got really mad when I confronted her, but, um, that, that wasn't cool. My mom is very, mm, I don't even know. She's messed up, okay? So, yeah, um, I try to get along with her as much as I can, but, I mean, we do not agree on a lot of things, and, yeah. I won't be a racist, and that's just how it is. I mean, there are some fucked up white people out in this world. Let's get real, and we cannot just, you know, call a book by its cover or whatever you say. You know, like, that's the same thing. Like, if you're just going to judge someone because of the color, that's stupid. And what's if you're judging them by their color, what's wrong with black people? You know, what what's ugly about? Nothing's ugly about black people. I'm sorry. You know, I mean, at least they have some kind of color to them. And, you know, look at me. I'm a freaking ghost. So, you know what I mean? The grass is always greener, you know, so, 
anyways, that's my little, I don't even know what that was, a rant. M my mom's done some other messed up shit, but it, this video will be way too long if I got into all of that. But, um, so now, I don't know if I'm going to let my mom go to her school. I mean, I don't mind, technically, if she goes as long as I'm there, but I already know she's going to be, I'll have to be very dominant when I go and just, you know, tell her it's going to be this way. You're not going to you're not going to take this away from me, you know, this is the first time we're celebrating, because my daughter was in a different school last year, because, um, the kids were being really mean to her, and it was just bad, like, boys were trying to have sex with her in the bathroom, it was crazy, and so, this school is wonderful, and the, uh, I love her teacher so much, um, last year they, not, they did not even recognize my daughter's birthday at the other school, this teacher, my daughter's birthday is not until, it, not until Sunday, this teacher celebrating it, um, and giving her like a whole half an hour, so that's wonderful, um, that's really nice, so I cannot wait to celebrate my daughter's birthday at her school, I bought her a new shirt as well, a really cute one, so hopefully she has a really fun day tomorrow, and hopefully I'm there on time, and I can get the cupcakes up there without a problem, but yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna let my mom come, if I do, I'm just gonna tell her how it is, she better keep her P's and Q's to herself, because that ain't gonna be cool, it's not going to be cool, um, you know, because then I'm going to have to hear, oh my god, there's so, you know, there's that many black kids out of school, there's that many Mexicans, there's that many Asian, I'm sick and tired of it, and her classroom is, majority is white, you know, but there are, whatever, you know, I don't, I don't even know, she has like 26 kids in her class, I would say, they say definitely like 15, 19 are white, so there's not even that many uh, different races in there, but who cares, you know, that's not what, that's not what matters here, depends on the freaking person, how the kids are raised, because at her last school now, they're, they're some messed up, she had a, a white friend named Jenna, and I'm sorry, but that little girl tried to bitch my daughter around, and that pissed me off, it really did, so, yeah, there's no good, there's good in every race, and there's bad in every race, and if I get any kind of comments, you know, because I'm not racist, well, I don't care. That's a good thing that I'm not racist, you know. Um, and I already told Cheyenne, if her, the boy that she likes, if she ever marries or gets pregnant by a boy that's of a different race, all I care about is that the boy treats her good. And if my grandbaby's getting taken care of good, I want my daughter to be happy. And I'll welcome a black man into our home. Mom's and treats my daughter right. You know, it's, if she wants that, if that's who she's attracted to, I'm not the one to tell her who she, you know, who she has to sleep with. I'm not going to force her to be with a white man, you know, because I'm threatening not to love her grandbabies, my grandbabies. No, I'm not the one that has to sleep with her man, you know. Cheyenne needs to know who she's attracted to. And some women are just attracted to black guys. And in that case, you know, that's, Whatever's, you know, everyone has their own preference. Me, personally, I'm attracted to every race. And that's just how I am. I'm not blind at all. You know, like, I'm with a white man. He's Swiss. He's not American. And um, there are things about my husband are, that are not like the typical American, which I do want to make a whole other video about. That's the one I wanted to make about yesterday. Um, I'm not going to get into it in this video because it's too long, but I might make it tonight. So, and I might post it tonight if I make it. So I'm going to end this video, and if you watched it all, say, I don't know, I was going to say I'm not racist, but you guys might be, so I can't say that as a line. I would like to, I don't know, involve it to somewhat what the conversation is about. Um, say, hmm, say, I'm a beast. If you watch this whole video. There you go. I'm a beast. So there. Say that. <laughs> uh, that's funny. I've seen something like that on TV today. So that's why I'm saying it. And then my daughter comes home from school saying that a boy was running around in a circle saying, I'm a beast. I'm a beast. <laughs> and then i seen something on TV about it. So that's crazy. But it had to do with animals. But um, yeah. How animals are beasty. Yeah. Anyways. That's funny. It's just a random thought. But anyways. um, I'll talk to you later. Or in a second, my mouth is super dry, and I'm hoping to God I don't get a sore throat, because that would suck. It's right around the corner of my daughter's birthday. Hope I don't get a sore throat. But, oh yeah, my whole body is freaking sore from that MRI. It is crazy. It's like, 
I don't know. It's like I got into a fight or something. My whole insides are freaking... I maybe should show you guys this. You guys are going to see my stomach. So this is my fifth, almost 15 month postpartum belly. <laughs> so yeah, here I'll show you guys where it hurts. It looks, see this, how it sticks out? That's weird. This is all, this is the part that hurts. This, this side hurts more than this side, though. I don't know. No, let me do this side. No, wait. Did I say this side hurts? No. Oh, the camera's messing me up. Ugh, like, see, because this is my side that, okay, whatever. This side hurts me. My husband says like a little bump, and then today I noticed there's a bump right here, and I don't know if everyone has this, but it moves and it really hurts, like down here. I mean, I have all my, the swollen part of my back is down here from the epidural, like gave me water in here, like, like fluids, I don't even know. Still swollen after six years, but anyways, this is my postpartum stomach after like 15 months, and right now it looks a little funky. This is from my pants, keep going. Because of this, I don't know what the hell this is, but my stomach's basically flat. But it's just super sore. It feels so sore. Oh, right here, too. That's where it hurts. I'm sorry. Both sides. But this is one that hurts the most. It is like big. It is probably. I, I could definitely see that. That's not normal at all. Anyways, I'm showing you, they have a big old line there too, it's weird. Anyways, that's enough showing my belly to you guys. So, yeah, um, I hopefully this video is probably definitely 20 minutes long, or very near to it. So, yeah, I'm sorry, um, if I offended anybody with the whole race thing, I'm sorry. I don't think I did, because, I mean, I'm a very open-minded person, and if you're offended by this, that means that you're racist, and, I mean, some people are, and that's totally fine, I guess. It's not really cool to be, but whatever floats your boat, just be respectful, that's all I have to say is, if you're racist, don't be disrespectful, I mean, if, if you are only attracted to one kind of, you know, one type of race, I mean, a lot of people are, you know, that's just how some people are, like, my sister's usually just attracted to Mexican, so that's, um, that's her company, I am a fourth of Portuguese, and I don't know if you guys know this, but, um, and yeah, so, you know, so, and she takes way more after the Portuguese gene than I do, which is kind of weird, but uh, I'm white, but, um, I, like I told you guys, I am a natu natural redhead, or, you know, um, I was redhead as, as a child, it was, it was basically red, so, but, um, now it's like a co copper color, like the color of a penny, um, but I had no freckles at all, because of, I, I don't know why, I uh, usually, uh, redheads have a whole bunch of freckles, I have none on my arms, and, like, if I have any on my face, like one or two, I have less than my husband, I know that. So, I'm very blessed in that aspect. So, anyways, um, yeah, I'm a very open-minded person, so, yeah, anyways, you guys, um, I'll talk to you guys later. So, and I guess the same that I, I said last time, um, someone else already has that. So, that sucks. I like that one. I feel like saying that every time. I'll see you in a different, on a different day in a different way. I don't know, that, that's just... Because with me, it always is in a different way. I'm always talking about something. I'm just so random. So, I'll come up with something. I'm sure whenever I come up with someone, I'll have it. I mean, because we live... This is a... YouTube's a big, big place, you know. A lot of videos, and I'm sure... I'm sure whatever I come up with ain't going to be... I need to come up with something, like, that's really unique or something for... No one has it. Because I don't want to take anybody's thing. But I feel like if I don't watch that person then I'm not taking their saying. So as long as I'm not watching that person, I think I have a right to say it, you know? So, yeah. Anyways, I'll talk to you later. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Talk to you guys later on what I'm saying. So, yeah. Bye.